Good morning, good morning. It's great to stay up late. Good morning, good morning to you. Hi, I'm Matt Lair. I'm a Broadway Music Circus alum. I've been doing shows at the Music Circus off and on for uh, 20 years. Uh, I've been in shows such as The Producers, where I played Leo Bloom, Nice Work If You Can Get It, where I played Jimmy Winter, and my personal favorite, Singing in the Rain, where I got to play the role of Cosmo Brown. The movie of Singing in the Rain is basically the movie that got me into this art form. Uh, it's why I wanted to become a song and dance man. I'm Jennifer Knox. I got to play Lena Lamont in Singing in the Rain. I remember Diane Vincent, uh, who was playing Dora Bailey. She's a hilarious actress. She had played Lena several times before in her career, and she she pulled me aside and said, oh, you're just going to have the best time. This is the greatest role. She's so funny. The audience loves her. And she was right. got to play opposite the incredible Noah Racy uh, as Don Lockwood. And dancing side by side with him during Moses Supposes uh, is one of the most electric and um, thrilling uh, moments I will ever have in my entire professional career. It was exhausting in the most wonderful of ways, and we were both determined to just give it our all and listen to each other, and that kind of sort of brotherly, in sync feeling. Uh, was absolutely magical. Matt and Noah were so fun together. They did this warm up every day, um, and and you know, we all got to watch, and it sort of pumped everybody up, and it was really sweet. They were like brothers. Um, the the principal company was so fun. Kara is one of the kindest, most genuine people you'll ever meet. She's phenomenal. Nick Santa Maria is one of the funniest men alive. I did this scene with him when he's Roscoe Dexter and he's trying to get Lena to do stuff and she just won't do it. And he, he was, the tactics that he would employ were every day it was different and every day it was hilarious. <laughs> the microphone is on your shoulder, darling. All you have to do is talk into the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Trying not to laugh was was um, it was it was very hard um, with someone like that. But he he's so much fun to work with. The first day I remember that I got to meet Christine Bendel, who I was in awe of. She was a Twyla Tharp dancer. I just couldn't believe that that this person was my woman in green. Like I was getting to be on the same stage with her. The dancers were unbelievable. I'm uh, Christian Johnson, technical director for Broadway at Music Circus, and I designed the rain effect for Singing in the Rain. When 
Scott, our producing artistic director, approached me about the rain effect, I was, I was concerned. Uh, our stage has a great deal of automation underneath it, all of this to uh, accomplish the lifts and the rotations and all of that had to be protected. Uh, but I also knew that uh, you know, anything less than a great effect was going to be a cop-out. It had to be done. It had to be great. It's in the title. The, the audience expects rain. Much the way you figure this stuff out is you just you build a prototype. The first prototype taught us so much. It, it was a surprise. You don't really see rain first, you hear it first. Uh, you hear the cloud break and the smacking of big drops of water on the concrete. That when I heard those big drops of water on the ground, I knew we were onto something. There was uh, one particular rain head that allowed us to focus the effect well enough to have it raining on stage and still leave the audience uh, warm and dry. Thankfully, at a point, you have to build a thing, and that's when the team takes over. You're still solving little problems, but it's largely out of your hands. When you're as blessed as we are with the incredible carpenters that work with us each summer, uh, it's a relief to go into production. We had four discrete systems of pumps, tanks, heaters, filters, and valves that together covered nine zones. We built and installed a completely new stage floor on top of our existing stage and dropped the stage floor down a foot, layering in one giant pond liner over the entire stage and then four additional liners, dams, and new stage framing over each quadrant. This gave us four basins to catch water. It was luck that we got the holes in the stage well enough parsed to drain most of the water, but you, you still have water on the stage. And you have this tiny sliver of time to clean up all the water, make everything safe for performers. The crew was amazing. By the time we opened, man, they had that down. The audience reaction, it was huge. Uh, the excitement that was in the room was, was just something beyond. Noah had really come to own the effect. You know, he had found just the right spots to slide. He, just, he looked really at home. It was clear that, that he and the audience got a lot of joy out of that moment. And it's, it's really special when you can help make an experience like that happen. I think my favorite moment in the show was something that Linda Goodrich created. At the beginning of the second act, Lena has this monologue where she's talking to herself in the mirror and she starts voicing the other person. It was just really challenging for me to figure out how to do it the way that I was doing the character. And Linda's really great at what she does. And she was like, why don't we just open the fourth wall and you can talk to the audience and riff a little bit and you know react to what they give you. And getting to do that, getting to speak to the audience and, and really say these lines and surprise them like that. And um, I remember one night there was a little girl sitting in the front row and I asked the question, you know, uh, you know, am I beautiful or I'm, I'm beautiful, ain't I, is the word. And she just looked at me and she looked around and then she shrugged and the whole audience just lost it. <laughs> great moment and uh, it really opened up the show for me. The number that Cosmo gets to do make him laugh where he basically throws everything in the kitchen sink in there um, was uh, pretty um, pretty darn exciting. Make him laugh, make him laugh. Don't you know all the world wants to laugh? Grandpa said to tell him a joke. But give it plenty of hope. Make him laugh, make him scream. One of the challenges we were going to have with that was in the film, Donald O'Connor would do this run up against the wall and do a backflip, just like my fingers are doing that. And uh, I knew we couldn't do that because walls uh, block, you know, a quarter of the audience's view. So uh, the director and choreographer, Linda Goodrich and myself came up with an idea of using like a ballet bar that was hanging out in the rehearsal studio. And I would run into that and do a backflip, do a tumbling pass towards the aisle, run all the way up the aisle, and then we had one wall set all the way high up in the aisle that I would run up and it would crash and I would break through and land on a crash mat. And the audience's reaction, my own heart rate was thrilling. <laughs> The 
audiences were so enthusiastic and um, drawn in to our whole production that it was um, truly one of the most memorable experiences I have ever had on the stage. It was just a wonderful, wonderful show and a wonderful experience. And um, I am just so grateful that uh, I got to play that role in that company with that group of people um, and that support. It is such a special place. They put on such amazing productions and I am so grateful that I have gotten to be a part of a few and I hope I get to be a part of many, many more for years to come and that you all come back and see them. Thank you, Sacramento, and thank you um, for coming to see it and um, we'll hope to catch you on the other side. Hope you're well, take care, bye. Good morning, good morning. Moses, 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 Moses,